A lot of uphill. A lot of downhill. A lot of hiking. Reload! 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 Dude! Yes, Bennett! I am so excited, dude! <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are deer hunting. Um, Bennett had his last football game of the season last night. They won. And uh, we went straight from the football game. We're coming up here to deer hunt. We've got Garrett and Tyler are with us. We're in the spot. Tyler's, he saw some deer in here last week. Um, they're across the main drainage over there. And then Bennett and I are hiking up the other side. And uh, we're just going to kind of slowly work our way up. We're sitting on this little knob right now, waiting for it to get more light so we can see. But uh, pretty exciting. Like I said, Bennett's going to try to shoot his first buck. Garrett's across the way. He's trying to shoot his first deer. And uh, so it's pretty exciting all the way around. Hopefully we can get something done today. And uh, yeah, like I said, beautiful country. And we already had a couple creek crossings this morning. And now we're just working our way up. And uh, we'll be out here all day. So pretty exciting. Don't know what the day's going to hold. But I think this kid's ready. You ready? We are slowly making our way up this kind of spine ridge, right in the middle of these two draws. We just saw Tyler and Garrett over there. Got some video of them through the Zulu 6 binoculars with the phone scope. They're working their way up the main draw. We're, we're just kind of glassing all this stuff behind us. As we're going up this ridge, you can kind of see these little windows. And we, anytime we get a new vantage point and we stop and glass, and now we're just moving really slow, hoping we can pick up a deer on one of these openings. Looks really good. The sun's just creeping up over on the far, far hillside. So, I don't know. You never know when things are going to change. We can glass a lot of country over here, too. So far, we haven't seen anything, but it can change in a hurry. We've gained about a thousand vertical feet, and we're finally getting into deer sign. Seeing quite a few tracks on beds. So we're just gonna keep working our way up this spine ridge to be able to glass off both sides. We finally gotten to where it kind of levels out. So we're just gonna go slow now, kind of still hunt. Walk, glass, walk, glass. There's one knob up here we'll probably sit down for a bit and glass for a while and eat a snack and stuff, but getting into deer science, that's promising. We just saw our first deer. I don't want to fall on her about 60 yards away, but no buck with them. We're going to get up on this knob and uh, hopefully find a buck up here. Beautiful country. You guys. It is hot. It's only 11.30. We stopped back on this last ridge and uh, took a little break and ate some, drank some water. And we're down to t-shirts. It's October 19th and we're in t-shirts at 11.30. So we're just gonna keep, kinda keep working over all these little ridges and then we're gonna get up to the main ridge and look off the backside. But, I can't believe how hot it is. Ben and I just spotted the next group of deer. We've seen two does. We've been sitting up on this saddle for like three hours, waiting for the shadows to come over to this draw so we can kind of start working our way back down. And uh, yeah, just spotted two does. We're gonna hike back up to where our packs are right now. We brought the camera and the gun and we came down just to look into this other little basin. Nothing over on this side, but we're gonna start working our way back down and uh, hopefully get sidetracked by a buck. We're almost back to the truck. What are your thoughts on the day? Mm, boring. A lot of uphill. A lot of downhill. A lot of hiking. How many deer? 
Four. Four does. Tomorrow could be better though, huh? Mm hmm Good morning and welcome to day two. We are walking up this old, no that's not even an old road, it's a gated road. And uh, so far, it's barely legal shooting light and we've seen three does. We saw four does total yesterday. So we got the whole crew, Tyler, Garrett, and Bennett. We're gonna just make a big loop up in here and uh, See if we can find some bucks. We said we're only looking for big bucks. That way if we see smaller bucks, let's see what happens. If you're looking for big bucks, you see small bucks. If you're looking for does, you see nothing. So, a little reverse psychology. We've matched our deer sightings from yesterday. In the first. We just saw five more does. And now we're up to nine, which equals what we saw last year. Last night. And, we, and we were split up yesterday. Split up. And we hiked way harder. Ben, you, want, you want to shoot a doe? Not yet? No. Okay. I just mm -hmm. had to make it super hard. So then this didn't seem so easy. Find a deer. We're getting Bennett set up on a 600 yard doe. We're not gonna shoot it, but it's good practice. We're just sitting here glassing and there's three does over here, or four. And uh, we're just gonna have them get used to making dry fire. And it's good practice, but we gotta find a buck. But we're already over the deer limit from yesterday. So that's a good thing. What's Tyler trying to talk into doing? Shooting it though. Which I could. I do it for the summer sausage. Last night before we were moving camp, Tyler made us summer sausage sandwiches. They were really good. Ben it's like, I'll shoot one just so we can make summer sausage. I think we're up to 19 goes. I haven't found a buck yet. We are gonna start making our way back down. Shot rocks up there at 580. Um, I should have been looking with the 300 wind mag, should have been holding about a one MOA to the left. We are shooting just off the right edge for spin drift. And yeah, so now we're gonna head back down. And now all the deer are gonna be coming up to where we're going because we scared them. Cross. It's a plan. Good morning, guys. This is our last morning here on this deer hunt. We've got to go down and pick up. Kendall Gray for the elk hunt this next week and then we can go deer hunting a few days after that towards the end of the season when it hopefully cools down um, but yeah uh, Ben and I are heading up one draw Garrett and Tyler went down the road a ways and then they're going up a different draw and then we're just going to meet back at 11 because we got to head out of here but we were just talking yesterday Bennett could have filled his tag a lot of times. We ended up seeing 32 does and two bucks. The two bucks were too far away, but lots of does, and Bennett can shoot a doe here in Idaho. But we're really trying to get a buck. So hopefully this morning, sometimes the short hunts can be just as good as the long hunts. We're going to make our way up this draw, glass this open hillside, and uh, we've just been sitting down here for about a half an hour waiting for it to get light enough so we weren't passing deer on the way in. But 
It's time to start moving now. Steady. Make sure you're good and steady. Go ahead. Nice shot, Bennett. Reload. 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 Dude. Yes, Bennett. Yes. Oh, dude. Stay on him. Dude, you smoked him. Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so excited. I am so excited, dude. <laughs> we have been killing ourselves, dude. Were you a little disappointed this morning? Oh my gosh. Yes. Great shot. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, dude, money shot. You dropped him. I'm shaking so bad. Yes. You guys, <laughs> we have literally been killing ourselves <laughs> trying to get Ben at the deer, trying to get anything. I was, Ben was super discouraged this morning. I was super discouraged this morning. I was just like, let's get up to this tree like 50 yards away and we'll just sit in glass. We have not seen any deer this morning. I look up the hill and see a deer standing there and it's a buck and uh, Luckily he stayed there. We got Bennett set up on the bipods, on the gun, 188 yards, and Bennett just smoked him. He was about ready to leave too. Yeah. Yes, you guys, yes, this is so cool. <laughs> uh, I told Bennett this morning, I was about ready to start calling the Icon Tour, the Icon Tour unsuccessful. Cause we've been killing ourselves for elk. We didn't get an elk for the boys. I'm leaving, or we're leaving. This was our last morning to hunt. And this creek, this draw that we're coming up absolutely sucks. The side hilling, steep. <laughs> but we got a buck. <laughs> yes. Oh, good shot, dude. That's the first kill with the 300 wind mag. How you feeling now? Super excited. <laughs> You're a little discouraged. Yeah. I was just, like I said, are you glad I said, let's go up to this tree? Yeah. <laughs> you absolutely smoked him. Yes, dude. Dude, it was looking pretty bleak. I don't even know how big it is. He's like a three point. Yes. Oh, I just looked up, I don't know, maybe a big two. I just looked up and saw antlers. Anything. And then it was like, yeah, we were ready to get some shot. Let's get up there. <laughs> Good shot, dude. You guys, I'm going to announce the winner of the last episode's giveaway real quick. But before I do that, I wanted to let you guys know that we are giving away a Sig Cross Magnum chambered in 300 wind mag. And all you have to do to be entered into that rifle is be subscribed to Switchback Outdoors, leave a comment on every episode of this year's Icon Tour, so we're on episode four, and then like the Icon Tour videos. And you're going to be automatically entered into win that rifle. Um, the winner of last episode's giveaway, which was for the Kafaro Bino Harness, the winner of that is David Webb. David, shoot us an email, switchbackoutdoorstv at gmail. With that prize heading your way. On today's episode, we are giving away a Werner gift box. This is going to be kind of a sampler of all of what Werner does from the snack mixes, the candy, the meat sticks, and jerky. And all you have to do to be entered in to win that is leave a comment on this episode. This is a pretty special video. Um, Bennett gets his first deer. And uh, 
you have to, if you haven't, go count how many times I said dude after Bennett shot his deer. You can leave that in the comments as well. I haven't counted it. It was a lot. When I was editing this video, I realized I said dude a lot, but I was very excited, excited for Bennett. And uh, really cool video, a special video. So thank you guys so much. Leave a comment to be entered to win the Werner, the Werner gift box. Do everything you need to do to be entered to win the rifle. And we'll see you guys next week. Oh yeah, dude. See ya. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a four on this side. That's so cool. A big body buck. That's so cool. You happy? Yeah. I made a perfect shot. Perfect? Good job, dude. Let's, uh, that's it's steep. Good, that's a good first buck. Oh man, yeah. That's so cool. You guys, it finally happened. Bennett got his first deer. First kill for us this season. And uh, I'll tell you what, it was looking pretty bleak this morning. We weren't seeing a lot of deer signs. This is the first deer we saw this morning and just happened to be this good buck. And uh, made it all worth it. Bennett's been putting some miles in yesterday. We hiked seven miles. The day before that, we hiked like four and a half, but like gained 2,000 vertical feet up and down. And uh, even throughout the elk hunt, I mean, he's been a trooper. He was getting a little exhausted, I could tell. And uh, happy, very happy that it worked out because it's, it's a, a bad hunt. It can be a really bad hunt, but it can turn into a really good hunt that fast. And we were just making our way up to where we were hoping to look over this other side and I just happened to look up and see this buck standing there. And Bennett did awesome. We've been practicing a lot with him getting set up for shots on his own. That way he can do it on his own. I help him out a little bit, but that way he can just do it. I don't have to worry about you know getting him set up. And he did an awesome job and uh, made an absolutely perfect shot. You can probably see in the video there right behind the shoulder. First kill with a cross, 300 wind mag and uh, yeah. Pretty awesome. Day. Tell us, uh, tell us your thoughts as the day was progressing and this trip has been pr progressing. Um, it was really slow at first, and then yesterday saw a lot of does, two bucks, and then today finally happened. Just got a buck down, buck yeah. down, buck down, buck down, buck down. That's for dad. We're going to leave, like I said, we're going to pick Kendall Gray up from the airport and we're going elk hunting for the next five days. Um, we're leaving like straight from here to go pick him up. So didn't have a lot of time to get it, get things going. And uh, I told Bennett it sucks till it doesn't. And uh, got this deer up here, beautiful pictures. And uh, now it's time to get to work. It's not a very, we're only in here about three quarters of a mile, but it is steep. And uh, but great shot, honestly. It's pretty awesome to feel very calm. Like when he was getting ready to shoot, I was like, this deer's dead. And uh, just worked out perfect, so. All right, you ready? Yep. More pictures? Mm-hmm. Probably more pictures. You finally get to break in your Nukafar backpack, huh? Yeah. First time packing something out in it. We are getting packs loaded up. Got the deer all taken care of. And luckily, as soon as we got done taking care of it, Bennett kicked it and it rolled a long way. So luckily that didn't happen while we were trying to break it down. But. I think it's only, what time has it been? 10, 10 30-ish, somewhere in there. And we were supposed to meet Tyler, 10 38. Yep. We were supposed to meet Tyler and Garrett at 11 15. And we're gonna be, we're gonna be a little late. But that's after killing a deer, so 
that's a good reason to be late. That's the only reason you can be late is if you kill something. So we're gonna get Bennett's pack loaded up. He's taking a hind quarter and the head, and then I'm taking everything else. Well, we beat Tyler and Garrett back. So if they're late, that's gotta mean they shot something because that's the only way you can be late. Hopefully they shot something, that'd be awesome. But we're gonna drop packs, get the meat unloaded, and uh, probably eat a sandwich. I'm hungry. And uh, yeah, what'd you think? Fun, steep. Dead buck? Dead buck. First buck? Buck down. Buck down. You better have a good excuse. We got lost. I yeah. see blood. We got blood too. What? We got blood too. Right there. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very cool. Hey. I told him. I was talking to the, when we got down here, we were late. They're both And I was right like, through. the only way you can be late is if you shoot something. Yeah. And I was like, so they're late. They better be. Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's crazy. How far up there did you guys go? Uh, three quarters of a mile. Nice. Heck yeah. <laughs> like the same buck. <laughs> yeah. Three by fours. Look like they could be family. Oh yeah. Cousins or something. That's awesome. I am extremely excited to announce the Apex Archer 3D Archer event. This is going to be an archery event like you've never seen before. We're limiting it to 50 archers, and it's going to be May 4th in Marsing, Idaho. Top 25 shooters are going to win some big prizes. We've got a SIG M400 rifle, a SIG P365 SAS pistol. We've got SIG optics. We've got Eastern Archer gift certificates, phone scope gift certificates, crispy boots, title knives. Top 25, you're going to be in on some awesome prizes. So that's 50% of the people are going to win something big. Included with your registration, we are doing a catered dinner. You get an event bag, including a t-shirt, some snacks from Werner, a water bottle from Drifter Hydration. If you guys go to the website, you have all the rules and instructions. It, hey, you have to be pre-registered to come to this event. If you register between now and April 15th, you'll save yourself $50 on registration. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Hope to see you guys there. It's going to be a really cool event that uh, I think you guys really like. May 4th, Marsing, Idaho, Apex Archer. Top 25 people are going to win big. Ooh. Mm -hmm.